A rigid wire consists of a semicircular portion of radius r. Okay, so this is uh, radius r and two straight sections. So these two are the straight sections. The wire is partially immersed in uh, the perpendicular magnetic field of B naught J cap. So this is B naught J cap, which is pointing outwards. As shown in the figure, the magnetic force on the wire, if it has current I, is and it is having current I. So now we will understand, you know, simple thing. Like we have a diagram here. <clears throat> so uh, the force on a current canning wire is given as this df is equal to i dl cross b okay now what is dl dl is the small length the elemental length b is the magnetic field df is the force on the wire now since uh, it is you know the the dl is not in one direction so therefore we can like uh, we have to what we have to do is we have to sum it up okay so we have to integrate it now if we see very clearly so this entire force is going to be i okay dl cross b okay so therefore we have you know like dl1 cross b okay plus dl2 cross b and so on so what we have done is we have broken this dl in small small ele elemental length so this is this is dl1 this is dl2 3 and so on you know like that we have broken it in different different elemental lengths okay so dl1 dl2 dl3 dl4 dl5 dl6 dl7 dl8 like that we have broken up so therefore if you see the force becomes now if you clearly see this becomes i into dl1 plus dl2 plus so on cross b vector now this entire thing actually becomes displacement okay like displacement in the sense means uh, the the vector from a to b a to d here okay because all these together becomes actually this okay so therefore we can write f is equal to i okay l a d cross b okay so this what is this this is you know vector length vector from initial to final position of the conductor okay now we approach this question again so if you see uh, this is how you know the current like you know the wire starts so wire starts and it goes till here so basically actually the length becomes this this is the resultant length because this is the initial and this is the final point so therefore the force is going to be i l cross b now what is f force is i i is mentioned here is i only l is 2 r i cap because it's in this direction cross b b is b naught uh, j cap okay so Okay, just a minute. Now it has it is having Z above now, so it is not B not J cap, it's B not K. Because it's in up it's in upward direction, so it's in K direction. Here also, uh, 
B equals B naught J. No, it should be not B naught J. It should be B naught K. Because if you see here, uh, they have mentioned the K value as upwards and B is also pointing in this direction. So therefore, uh, the force becomes I cross K. So therefore, the force becomes K. So I cross K is minus J. So minus 2 I R B naught J cap. This is D.